Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. As you learn how to align objects in space using the primitives, in some cases like this one, it may be a purely free form, or you want to just use some manual methods to do this. In our recent version, please make sure you have uh, updated your version must be 3.129 or higher in order to get this functionality. So what you need to do is actually click on Align and then Align Interactive. So what you see on the screen is technically a gimbal that will help you manually to adjust the mesh on the screen. But before I begin, one good option is to actually align visually my object on the screen. As you can see now, I roughly see how it is. I can use the arrows just to turn the view by 90 degrees and when I'm happy I can just press as the current view. Before I click this button I'll just put the coordinate system on so you see that it's not aligned correctly and I'll just press align. So what you see now is that it used your current position on the screen and this is where your coordinate system will be. But despite this it's not accurate enough so one option is for example you can show mirror at point. It's quite useful when you have symmetrical objects like this one, so you can see how the mesh is mirrored from one of the standard planes. This one is the left one. Also, you can use the arrows. They just get highlighted and you can just track and this will reposition the object on the screen. You can also use the rotational controls, so you can rotate the object also, so you can adjust or you can use these planes to move them in space. You can place the object in the standard views for better understanding or even more if you have an imported cut model using these controls you can just adjust and move this mesh in place as close as possible to your cut model. Also there are some additional controls which allows you to rotate and translate with the numeric values the, the object. Another interesting option is what we call a drag strength. Now it's set to 100% which means that when I move with the mouse it just moves the object. But in some cases you need to really fine tune your position. So that's why you can play with this drag strength. So as you can see now when I drag it really slowly moves the object in space. So more or less this is what you need for Align Interactive and you can combine this approach with the other Align using the coordinate system to position an object perfectly in space before you start with your reverse engineering. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.